Hi Gen Bio, Dr. Fry again. I am now showing you a cross section through the middle of our amphioxus or lancelet. And this one is to compare with the last one because this one is a male, whereas the last one was a female. And so you can see we're at a similar section to where we saw the ovaries in the female. So we still have our pharynx with our gill bars and gill slits. And that is surrounded by the atrium, the space here. I forgot to mention in the last one, so I'll mention now. This is, of course, where water passes through the organism and will go out the atriopore. Okay, but now in place of the ovaries that we had in the female, we have the testes because this is a male. Okay, so if you remember, we saw a lot of circular structures in this region. Um, showing you the eggs developing, and now what we see is more, more of a punctate or fibrous appearance to this tissue um, because we have sperm developing here and the cells take on a different appearance. So you can see like here there's more, this is the, the highest magnification we can get, but there's more um, smaller cells um, with with more of a, a punctate appearance inside the, the testes. Okay, so this is of course producing sperm and um, you should be able to tell the difference then by looking pretty easily uh, at the, the gonads for the male and female amphioxus. We're gonna zoom out again just to show you the larger field of view. Again, we don't see any of those little circles here. So even at the lowest magnification, you can usually tell the difference. If you wanna be sure, you can always zoom in. Uh, but this is the male, and the previous one you should look at was a female, okay? So everything else looks pretty much the same. Um, at this section, we still have a nice big notochord, nerve cord, of course, the myomeres and myosepta, and everything else I had talked about in the last uh, video. So be sure to reference that one. All right. That's it for the mail.